Now that we as a body want to be uh, with you in a manner that pleases you, not in a manner that pleases ourselves. We want to, Jesus, you said, with, if any man will follow you, that he must buy a Bible and go to church and sit through church services and, and then go back and do the things he does during the week and then keep doing that. No, Father. Jesus said, if any man will follow me, let him deny himself. Father, there's no need to, for us to even quote past that at this stage. Because if we don't deny ourselves, we won't even know what it means to take up the cross. And we will not know what it means to follow you, Jesus. Father, each, each heart, each heart is, will stand before you and will stand before your Son. We will stand there. Not based on what others knew. Not based on what others live, not based on others' commitments, not based on their giving. Father, there, there were probably other people standing around when Jesus passed by and said to certain ones, follow me. And they didn't follow, except, except in special times of the Sermon on the Mount or the feeding of the 5,000 or... Father, we don't, we don't want our lives. We want your life. We want the life of your Son, the one that you put in us, and yet many times is stifled because of us, not because of outsiders, not because of the world, not because of the pandemic, not because of the who's president or not president, but because of ourselves that have not been denied so that you might have complete say. Father, these are just words. They're not words to me, but they're just words. If we cannot turn our hearts and say, I want to follow you, Jesus, the way you want to be followed and not the way that Christianity or my particular denomination, or my particular church has so designed. But I want to line up with you. Jesus, you also said, if you will continue in my word, you shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. And I hear the Father asking, are you continuing in his word? Are you in the word? Are you asking and praying to know the truth and to be made free, but refuse to continue in the word? Father, not man, not me, not Scott. When will your spirit be able to get our hearts and gather them up to you? We don't want that day to happen where we stand before you with, without you gathering up our hearts here, down here, that we can know and stand before you in spirit and in truth. I cry out, cry out that you may bless this body with more of Jesus, but not automatically, but as they obey Jesus, your son, and follow him in the manner that he wants to be followed. So I pray that prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.